Hey guys, it's Alessia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing the highly requested shaving routine. I feel like I say the highly requested literally every video, but it's actually because you guys request it. I follow your commands. Actually in elementary school, I was picked on multiple times, like every day for my body hair, especially my arms. And like, girl, I'm Italian, there's hair everywhere. Every inch of my body, there is hair, okay? Literally, here's what I would do. I would shave my arms in like, like grade six, sixth grade. I would shave my arms up to here and then just stop because I was scared to do the rest. <laughs> I don't know why. And people would be like, why does half of your arm have hair? And I'd be like, it's just natural. It just doesn't grow there. I don't know what I was thinking doing that, but yeah. So yeah, don't feel insecure at all about your body hair. Don't feel insecure if you have it everywhere on your body. I do too, you're not alone. A lot of girls, have a lot of body hair. And every single girl has body hair, period. So do not feel insecure. So yeah, my shaving journey started in like elementary school because people would pick on me, which isn't ideal, but that's the way it is. So I'm gonna be just giving you some tips and tricks to have smooth skin and no ingrown hairs. I remember when I was starting my shaving journey, I would literally like Google shaving routine videos. So I got you guys. I'm literally gonna be doing everything from arms to legs to down there to your stomach because I have hair on my stomach to armpits to face to everything. So yeah, if you have hair in any of those areas, keep watching. First things first, we need a good razor. So I've actually been using this razor for about, there's literally hair on it, that's disgusting. Um, it's from Institution. You could get it at like Walmart, that's where I get mine. But yeah, I've literally been using this for years. It's my holy grail, I love it so much. You can also change the razor heads, so if it gets dull, you can just pop a new one on. And it comes with a lot of like built-in cream. So I haven't had to use shaving cream ever since I got this. There's like enough of it because it's so fat that it like works good. It literally never gives me razor burn unless I'm like in a rush and I'm like, but other than that, no. Step number one, don't do that. This is really loud and I keep shaking it and I don't know why, sorry. So starting off with arms, I've always been one to not exfoliate before I shave. Like I would shave and then exfoliate and wash my body, but no, you're not gonna wanna do that, girl. Ever since I started uh, shaving after my routine and exfoliating and everything, it's come out way smoother. My skin has never looked better. So yeah, for my arms, I don't actually go in with an exfoliator unless there's like dead skin and I feel like exfoliating. I like using a natural um, body cleanser. So yeah, they don't get irritated, whatever. So yeah, I just go in and I start, you know, I clean my arms first. You know these, they're pretty common, but these actually are one of my holy grails because they slightly exfoliate my skin, but not too much to the point where it's irritated. So yeah, every time I do a wash, I get exfoliated before I shave. You're also not gonna wanna go too hard, but also don't go too light so you get that full effect. And also I'm currently standing in a bathtub, so don't worry about me not letting anything fall on the ground. My hairs actually go in this direction on my arms. I go in the opposite direction of the hair. It doesn't irritate my skin on my arms. It may irritate you though, you would know best, but I go this way and it literally gets everything without irritating me. And every couple of strokes, you're gonna wanna rinse it. So I just go in the opposite direction of the hair and then I get the rest by going this way. My hair even grows under here, so literally everywhere. You're gonna wanna be really careful around your elbows. I've cut my elbows so many times. I don't know if you could see it, but there's like a bunch of scars on my elbows just from shaving because I go too hard. So yeah, you're gonna wanna learn from me and not do that. You're also gonna wanna keep your arm straight, not bent. As you can see, the hair's gone without leaving any like marks or razor burn. And I've also been blessed with having hair on my fingers and my hand. And as you could see, this little scar. Actually, it's kind of like a huge scar. Um, if you're like me and you shave your hands, be careful around your wrists because you don't wanna end up like me and have scars literally everywhere on your hands. So just go really lightly. Luckily this razor um, doesn't cut you that much, but 
if you're still like not careful, you can cut yourself if you go too fast or harsh. So you're gonna wanna go really lightly around the wrists. My leg hair is pretty uh, grown out because I've been hibernating in the winter and not wearing shorts, obviously. And it's just turning summer, so it's time to shave. As you can see, I'm not one of those girls that doesn't have to shave their thighs. It literally starts from the very top and then goes all the way down. I always go in with my loofah first. And I actually focus on the areas where I tend to get uh, razor burn and rashes. So that is right here at the back of my legs. And over time, I've seen that this actually helps me not to get as bad or at all rashes or razor burn in that area. For my legs, I actually exfoliate it with a scrub as well before I start shaving. I'm using the coffee one from Lush. I love this. And I actually get it with a Q-tip and not a lot. It works, it's really exfoliating. You're not gonna wanna go too hard with this because it will irritate your skin because of how exfoliating it actually is. Again, focus on the areas where you tend to get razor burn. For my legs, I use upward strokes because my legs don't really get uh, razor burn except for at the back. And this honestly makes my legs look smoother if I go this way. For the back though, I go in the direction of the hair and I go really lightly. My leg hair actually kind of grows pretty weird. So the direction here is that way. The direction here is that way. The direction here is that way. And the direction here is that way. So I literally do the opposite for everything except for the back because that is where it gets irritated. I've seen so many girls think that they have to bend their knees to actually get the hair off, but please never do that. You're gonna scar yourself so bad. You can actually just keep it straight and everything will come right off easily. And for my shins, I also go in the opposite direction of the hair. Here, I literally rinse it after like every stroke because of the amount of hair that is on my shins. I also go in on my feet. So today's sponsor is Casetify. Casetify has always been my go-to when it comes to phone cases. I've been using them for about two years now. And my sister is in dire need of a phone case right now because she doesn't get any. And <laughs> the last time I got her one was about a year ago and she still has the same one after a year. So I decided to get her one of Casetify's new pillowcases because you're so squishy and cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's so squishy and cuddly. Aww. They're made up of 90% guys of sustainable and recyclable materials. I also don't know why I'm shaking so much right now. Jesus. And their customizations are Y2K inspired. So when you wear that Y2K outfit, girl, you got your go-to case. They also have water resistant material. They literally have the whole package. And the texture of the phone case is so squishy, guys. I, I love it. They're almost as squishy as Michaela's face. <laughs> Here's your phone case. Yes! She is strapped and equipped and everything. Ready to go. She's ready. <laughs> it's really squishy. You'd like to squish? <laughs> Us in our Y2K outfits, they look bomb with the case. Oh, don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this. Very cute. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Listen, you have to try these squishy phone cases. They're a necessity, okay? I'm not even asking you, I'm telling you, go get it right now. They're really cute and for me with anxiety, I like, I like playing with shit, so. And they also match so well whenever I decide to do Y2K outfits. You can use my link located on the screen or in the description below for 15% off your order. Okay, next, the part you've all been waiting for. 
down there. Down there, I get a lot of razor burn. It's like not pretty. And if you ever think it's gonna be fully, fully, fully smooth, you are wrong. You're always gonna have a little something, okay? For down there, I actually go in the direction of the hair and I go really, really lightly. I also kind of go upwards into my butt. So yeah, for that whole area, you're gonna wanna be so gentle, so careful. You don't wanna accidentally cut, cut it off, you know? <laughs> I go in with the loofah first before I start to shave. I don't exfoliate with the scrub because it'll irritate the literal shit out of it. And this razor, honestly, I think it's the best for down there. Like that's where it works its magic the most. With my other razors, it would literally hurt to do down there and it would take so long. This gets it quick, easy, done. And compared to my other razors, this one leaves less. Not none, but less razor burn. If you go the opposite direction of your hair, you're definitely gonna have them confused on which way to grow and you're gonna get a lot of ingrowns. Never go in the opposite direction of the hair down there, okay? Next is armpits. Um, I've been blessed with not having a lot of hair there. My girls who have um, more hair there, you're gonna wanna go really gentle. Me, I can literally just go fast, but you're gonna wanna go real slow. Make sure you get all the crevices without cutting yourself. Being gentle is the key to having nice armpits, okay? Also, this razor is also the best for armpits. It literally just wipes everything out without irritating you. I know not everyone grows hair here, but I grow hair on my stomach as well, going down. I don't know if you could see right now because I'm I just tanned, but. So here, I literally just go in this direction. First, I go up, really gentle. And then once it just stops to take anything out, I start to go downwards and then sideways. And that literally gets everything. I actually get a lot of hair on my back, like a lot. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I get a lot of hair there. And I never shave my back, like ever, because it will definitely make me break out because I've done it before and it broke me all the way out on my back, it was so bad. Anyway, no one's really looking at my back, so I don't really care that much about it. Okay, last but not least, face. Um, I have a lot of hair here. Um, it literally can grow and grow and grow and look like I have like really bad sideburns, but I don't let it do that, so. I just go in with this little face razor. But first I make sure to put oil on so it doesn't irritate my skin. So I'm just putting a bit of rosehip oil on and you're gonna wanna go in the direction of the hair. Same for my mustache. You're gonna wanna go in the direction of the hair. Doing this to your face not only makes you feel probably better about yourself, because that's what I do, but it also makes your makeup go on so much smoother and helps your products penetrate into your skin more. I always go in with baby oil instead of a moisturizer because my skin gets really easily irritated. When I shave, other creams and products really irritate my skin, so I just go in with baby oil. Okay, I'm back. The sun is shining. It won't focus. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope uh, I gave you guys some good tips that you needed for your shaving routine. Just like y'all suggested this video, leave me other video suggestions in the comments below. Please and thank you. And yeah, just once again, never, never, never let anybody let you feel insecure about your body hair. Just because you're a woman does not mean you have to be looking smooth and fresh all the time, okay? This is a safe space in the comments if you need to rant or anything go ahead okay again i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one happy shaving